yeah so uh, i mean uh, stunning stunning performance uh, you know mumbai indians has been the team of the decade i think as far as the ipl goes and we must also not forget that there used to be a tournament called the champions trophy which had uh, you know ipl equivalent winners from all countries and they won that twice as well before the tournament was uh, disbanded uh, it uh, you know comes down to a few things i think this first of all i think this has been the most uh, dominant performance by an ipl champion ever uh in the sense that uh, you know i think mumbai indians lost only one game very convincingly uh which was against uh, srh they lost two games in the super over and even the first game against chennai was was pretty close uh so to that extent they were by far you know the most dominant team in the ipl they beat every other team uh and they did it without you know rohit sharma really firing i mean he was injured for the first half and you had other players who were injured at different points like you know bumrah started off slowly even though he was not injured you had nathan kulternail who was injured for the first half and you had what you would possibly call as the second rung of players you know the likes of ishan kishan who by the way ended up you know hitting the most sixes in the tournament uh, looking at him you might probably not figure that out uh similarly you had you know hardik pandya who is of course a match winner and kyren pollard step up to the plate uh so you know it it was an overall team contribution and what has also happened is and of course i should not forget the player of the tournament for mi which is surya kumar yadav uh it's simply amazing that he's not part of the indian team uh what is good is that you know unlike the chennai sort of dynasty where which aged and then eventually they were dumped at the uh, you know group stage itself this year they couldn't make the playoffs there are a lot of youngsters in this team right who are under under 30 or you know early 30 so they can go on for a few years uh, so so that's a good thing so this is a team to look out for even though we have you know an auction this year i'm sure they'll retain the core and do their best to retain some of the most uh, important players uh so i mean whether you look at batting bowling or fielding uh i think everyone contributed but most of all i think uh, one thing that is not noticed is this is the you know fifth ipl that rohit sharma has won as a captain and that that's a phenomenal record uh, in itself he is he has shown to be a very mature leader and you know the players talk about him being a very calming influence uh they help he literally helped them you know bring out their best performance i i really think at least when it comes to the limited overs uh, india should look look at uh, making him captain uh, you know particularly because his record in the big games as captain uh, and the big tournaments whether it's ipl or it was uh, Cham- champions league earlier has been phenomenal so and we've not done very well in the icc tournaments you know since we won uh, since we won the icc champions trophy in 2013 yeah i mean we made semi finals and all that but i think for a con- for a country of india's cricketing resources and talent i i would say that's about par so for india to actually reach finals and win finals i really do think that we should consider at least for the limited overs a change in captaincy 